She's blind in one eye. He has, I think she said like 25% less vision in one eye or something like that. My morning has already been extremely stressful. Sorry, there's probably a lot of noise with the AC and everything. <sighs> Gus jumped off the bed this morning. And uh, we thought he had a seizure, but he didn't. Uh, I got a clock in and all that, so I'll talk more about it later. I'll see you on an hour. Are you recording me without my I'm gonna give you consent to record. I'm gonna sue the shit out of you. Sue the shit out of me. Do it. Are you actually recording? Yeah, I'm really recording. I'll tell you what, you just got yourself a fucking right up. Talk to me that way. What's up with you and the boss complex today? <laughs> First, I went in there, he clocked me in, and I was like, thanks, pal. And he looks at me and goes, I'm not your pal, I'm your boss. And I was oh. like, okay. I just need you to understand the fine line, you know, of where it, where it starts and where it ends. You know, oh, okay. It's, cause, you it's know. cool that we can talk about this stuff with one another, but like, at the end of the day, I can fire you. Amongst other things, but that's just one of the many options that I have. What an asshole, man! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody gets it! I still can't know if you're being serious or not. I'll see you in an hour. Okay. Did you guys know that Whataburger like, repackaged their chicken strips? I received one of these bags, and it had this little styrofoam plate in it. I was just completely thrown off because usually it's a different kind of box. I don't know. It blew my mind enough to consider talking about it, but anyways, now that I'm on break, I can tell you about what happened this morning. But first, I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. <laughs> you four made your way into the dome of Nadas. Once inside, you try to fit in with the rest of the crowd, but instantly pissed off a Warforged robot named Jeff Bridges. You pissed him off so bad you almost blew your cover. Afterwards, however, the King's royal advisor came out to announce the beginning of the festivities, and Jens quickly realized that the advisor was none other than his super solid childhood friend, Rebecca. Okay, so... Okay, so long story short, because I spent my entire break eating Whataburger and taking a nap. Um, Gus decided this morning that he was so hungry that he was going to jump off the bed as soon as we got up. So Lorena got out of the room and Gus jumped off the bed and hit the ground. We think he might have hit his head somehow because when she found him, he was like on his back flipping around. After that, he was fine. He was walking around. He was walking in the yard. He used the bathroom. Then when we put his food in front of him, he like... I don't know, it was scary, man. He like seized up and like his hands went over his little head and like his eyes got glossy and his jaw locked and he was just shaking. Uh, truly scary stuff. So we thought maybe he was having a seizure and we, we rushed him straight to the vet where, um, you know, they looked him over. They said all his vitals were fine. He's relatively healthy. Um, he didn't have a seizure. So thank God for that. No seizure. Um, but what they think happened was that maybe the fall kind of pinched a nerve or hurt him and the walking around aggravated it so when he got to his food bowl he just had like a cramp and it like seized up his body and he he freaked out so <sighs> Gus is okay um, I had to call him this morning because of that but for the most part he's fine uh, he's at home right now with Lorena Lorena's watching after him they gave us some pain medication for him so he's gonna be okay <laughs> He's gonna be okay. So it was a little scary there for a minute, but he's fine. He's just dumb. 
Now I gotta go back to work. So you just record a lot, or? Yeah. Oh, I, I never told you. I vlog. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just like assume people know. No, I just yeah. assume you like recording people. No, yeah, I vlog. Well, hello, future Carlos. It's a real dead day out there today. We were told there was going to be 100% chance of rain, so not getting very many cars coming through. These days are kind of the best and kind of the worst because I guess it's. It's, it's like free money, and then we get to do a lot of the cleanup around the store that we've been meaning to do, so there's a lot of maintenance that gets to get done. But at the same time, like, it gets, it gets pretty dull around here just because there's not a lot of action going on. We've been in these rainy days for like the last several weeks. It's just weird, but uh, it'll be passed soon, and we'll be back to working like crazy. See you, man.